Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about some really cool G1 apps that you should definitely download from the Android Marketplace. And by the way, all of these apps are free. Let's get started with TuneWiki. TuneWiki is basically a different music player, and I like it more than the one that comes with your phone because you get a lot of more features and some really cool stuff with it. So, it has like artists, album songs and other default menus that you usually get so let's check out how it works um... so you go to like an artist for example and you click on a song sorry that's loud and uh... you see like the album cover in the background it finds it automatically unlike the android music player and another really cool thing is that it shows what lyrics are playing on the song and it finds it in like 35 different languages if you'd need that, I don't know why um, but um besides that it, al it also has things like community which basically shows the artists and songs that are around you on a on like a map so you can find local concerts and stuff so that's TuneWiki uh, sorry let me change this up let me exit out of this um, another cool app is Gmote um, let's go to Gmote Gmote is basically a wireless remote control that connects to your computer um, so for it you'll need a Wi-Fi network in your household or whatever and you'll also need a uh, you'll also need to download the actual app on your computer but I'll provide the website link for it in the video description so I'm just gonna show you how it looks like so like this enables you to play music from your phone on your computer which is really cool and also you can use this as a wireless mouse as a touchpad for your computer so as you as you like put your finger on the screen it would um it would work as a mouse on your computer so that's gmote so another really cool app is steel steel is basically another web browser for the G1 and um, it's really cool because you can type not only using a keyboard as always but also using a virtual keyboard just like on the iPhone and the screen flips automatically of course but if you jailbroke your phone you can do it on the web browser the normal web browser as well and you can store bookmarks and stuff like that of course um so i don't really like um steel well i like it but the reason i don't use it as my default web browser is because it doesn't support multi-touch with which is zooming with two fingers so that's why i don't use it next is shazam shazam is a really cool app it looks really simple but it's really cool so let's say you're like in listening to the radio and you don't know the name of the song but you want to find it out you would click on tag now and it will listen for the song and it will tell you the song name and the artist so this can come in handy and also let's talk about shop savvy most of you probably know this app because the G1 is really famous for this feature it's basically a barcode scanner um, but for those of you who don't know this I'm showing you how it works so you as I went to search product a laser shows up on the camera box so basically you take a product like I did now and you would scan it so you line up the, the laser with the barcode it turns green it search for the product it finds the product for you um... so yeah i just scanned a yachty box um... 
and it also finds like the cheapest price online so Amazon would be the cheapest one and in local places as well and you can call the store directly so I can call Toys R Us right from this menu so that's it for Shop Savvy we also have a really cool app which is um called Video Record the name basically explains it it's basically a video camera and you can take videos not only pictures which is useful because the phone can only take pictures with when you take it out of the box so this app is really useful so it's video record um, next is iMeme mobile for those of you who know iMeme it's a bit um, but for those of you who don't it's basically a like a YouTube for music so you can browse songs and search for them and basically they have a normal site but this app is for mobile phones so you basically like go and search and search for like something I don't know um so that's I mean if you don't have like a downloaded song but you want to listen to it you can go there of course you can go to YouTube all the time but I mean so faster I guess um next is um next is compass um, for those of you who like hitchhike, I mean, sorry, for those of you that like like to take hikes and stuff, compass is really handy, or if you're like camping or something. So it has a normal compass, um, and a digital one as well. So it tells you the coordinates right away. You just twist your phone and it changes, and you can drag this, and if you, you can turn the actual wheel on the side. Um, so that's compass we also have so I've saved the best app for last which is well one of the best apps I think which is cinema no it's really cool so you can't really play video files um, on the G1 sorry I'll show, I'll show you how the main menu of um, some of cinema, sorry. Um, so yeah, this is cinema, and um, basically, yeah, you upload video files to your G1, but they have to be in MP4 format, and you can play them. So, for example, I'm gonna play this closer by Neo, and I just downloaded it off like Frostwire. You can like move forward and stuff. The quality is really good. Probably doesn't show it because my camera's not too good, but if you actually see it on your G1, the quality is really good. So yeah, really cool app comes in handy a lot. So that's all for these really cool apps. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe this video. I'd really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Just send me a PM or an email if you want.